What's up guys, this is Tom Burkhardt from Car Rips Daily in the 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLC 43. So this is the Mercedes-AMG GLC 43, I should say. Uh, so this is a very, very special car. Um, this is AMG's Macan Fighter and uh, coming in an SUV shape or the GLC Coupe shape. With the twin turbocharged V6 making 367 horsepower, 384 foot-pounds of torque through what I believe is a, is a nine-speed automatic and an intensely adjustable chassis and drive mode. Um, because of the air suspension and the turbocharged engine, um, the drive modes in this car are actually like otherworldly. Like you go into comfort and the car is like super chill. I mean, right away, it's like just smooth and creamy and easy and Mercedes-Benz like. And then right, I, right when I get into Sport Plus, um, it's just the car like takes it up a, a serious notch. And then, uh, and then of course we have individual, wherein you can tailor the uh, the special modes uh, of the Sport Plus. I'm sorry, guy. So, really, really special machine. Looks awesome outside and seems to drive really well too. Um, I'm noticing a really, really uh, an extreme level of agility in the steering. <coughs> Excuse me, in the steering, and then also um, in this air suspension. Once you've got the sport mode styled in, I mean, this really becomes an extremely precise machine um, that belies its, uh, its SUV shape very, very nicely because it really handles like a sports car and has that level of enthusiasm. Even on that little brake torque launch going down the hill when we started this video, um, the back wheels were losing grip. We were, were like uh, braking traction uh, because there's so much torque right off the bat uh, with this engine. And then finally, of course, the format shifts power around and, and we clawed away from the line extremely rapidly. So competing in this segment is difficult. I mean, Macan Turbo obviously comes in with 400 horsepower, but it's also a lot more expensive. It's like, uh, starts from about 75-ish. Um, and, and the one that we tested last year was 120 with like a bunch of carbon options, which for the Macan is like, is quite a bit for that size vehicle. Uh, so it's extremely great to be in, um, in an AMG that is uh, that is all that is awesome, sort of segment defining, and also fairly affordable. So it's got a really interesting. Definitely has that sort of uh, that big AMG kick um, on up on upshifts. You know, right when the when the when the boost is um, still engaged, um, and, and you get that next gear locked. I mean, it just pops forward, and it also you know pops from out back. The exhaust sounds really, really nice. Mercedes, of course, is, is one of the experts at getting um, turbocharged engines to sound fantastic. And this one is certainly no different. Some pops from out back, too. So, uh, into first. I think the adjustability and the uh, the individuality uh, or the individual settings are really what make this vehicle special versus um, just a big engine SUV. I mean, there aren't too many rivals. I mean, there's the there's the X4 M40i, which uh, which definitely is a direct competitor to the GLC Coupe. Um, but in terms of, uh, of of super powerful, um, sort of like compact to midsize premium SUVs, there's not a ton of of uh, people in the game yet. I mean, of course, you've got like the, the SRT Grand Cherokee, um, X5M, and, uh, and of course the AMG um, GLE, um, you know, so those, and, and, and KN, of course, that have really been defining the segment for years, but um, but not really in this junior segment have we seen uh, some, some really, some interesting, uh, some interesting G-force there, and the suspension seems to be, seems to be dealing with it rather well. Of course, air suspension has big benefits in its range of adjustability. It can either go super firm or super, super soft. Um, so that's very, very nice uh, to have that level of, uh, of control. And, and here, obviously, you can, you can really use it to the best of your advantage without ruining the SUV. I mean, cars like, um, like the, uh, remember the Infiniti FX when it came out, which was reading the QX70. I mean, that car, when it came out, had 22s and really handled well. But, um, but there was a big price to pay. It was so bumpy, you could literally see the hood shaking as you drove down the highway, which is too much. Um, so it's nice to have, uh, but it was necessary to make it handle. Whereas with this air suspension, they can have it handle very, very nicely without having to ruin the ride. It 
So GLC 43 is a very, very nice, I mean, it looks great, it drives awesome, it feels extremely nimble, and it's definitely agile, which is really cool. So let's try a different mode, I don't know what I meant, I mean individual, let's just try like sport plus, sports plus proper. So you see it's obviously sport all down the line, it turns off automatic stop start, um, and uh, but keeps our, our climate in comfort. So here you have a terrific amount of rev matching um, and yaw sensitive gear action to basically keep you in the right gear to make power instantly. So there's zero uh, zero perception of turbo lag, even if turbo lag might exist in theory. I mean, you really don't feel it, which is stellar. Stellar, it drives fantastically well. I'm a big, big fan so far. Wait, how, wait this is no outlet too? Okay, it goes this way. But so small and easy. I mean, this is a really easy car to drive. Um, so beyond the uh, the drive modes themselves, which of course are like eco comfort, uh, sport, sport plus, and individual, you've got actual settings for um, your uh, aromatic suspension. So um, I've got like you know AMG suspension sport and AMG suspension sport plus, uh, each of which are successively firmer than uh, than before, and offer more control for for really that sort of track day level. Um, agility in an SUV. Very, very unusual to have this much fun and playfulness in uh, in an SUV shape. And one that's not, you know, not, I mean, it's it's not cheap, but but not crazy expensive. So GLC 43 starts from about $55,000. And as equipped uh, is this one with many, many options is about 64. And, uh, and of course it also is available in uh, the GLC Coupe, which has about a $3,000 premium over this SUV. So uh, nice to have that adjustability there. And uh, we're gonna do some, we gotta get out of this town area. But I'm a big fan. I don't know if you can really hear it out back. Well, that wasn't very elegant, but it definitely pops off the line like a jackrabbit. It feels very, very enthusiastic and eager which is awesome. It really just encourages you to uh, to get a sense of the playfulness of the car, which is, you know, which is, you, you can't take that for granted in uh, in any sport, you know, sporty type model it, in terms of like the fun to drive nature. So this GLC really feels fun. And that's what I think um, I like most about it right now. Big fan, so uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, and make sure to get the uh, the LED headlight option because um, this car does not come standard with that. You have to uh, you have to spec that. Um, otherwise, you get uh, you get like reflector halogens, which is no good at this price. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Check uh, CarRevsDaily.com for the full review in a couple weeks. And uh, thanks for watching. Check back soon, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye bye.